I'm Chris Stefanik here with Pat Lincioni, and here's your three-minute reset. I want to talk about the importance of your morning routine, the way that you start your day. I'll never forget one time, probably the last time I went golfing when I was a kid with my dad and my uncle, and I made the mistake of, of letting go of, of the club after I swung it really hard. You have no idea how far a golf club will <laughs> propel itself as it spins through the air. But the, the lesson here in this image is, you know, you let go of it in one direction, that's the direction it's going to go. You know, when you start your day, whatever direction you send yourself propelling in, it's really hard to change gears. That's why these first few minutes of the day are so important. So how do you get going in the right direction? And that it requires intentionality and discipline, something that I don't naturally, I'm not drawn to that. And yet I know, and I've learned over the years that if I can just do the first five minutes after I get out of bed, it changes everything. And a, a dear friend of mine just started doing this. He said his, his days used to go in the wrong direction because he'd get up and he'd look at his email and he'd read the news. And, and that's the golf club heading off to the fifth fairway. And yet one of the things he started doing is he wakes up and he reads the daily gospel yes, and the, the Psalms and, and a reading. And he said, everything changes. And his desire to pick up the news changes. Yeah. And I've learned this too. And maybe this three minute reset is part of that for some people. Whatever it is, it's, it's really important to get into a routine. And as much as I like spontaneity and choosing my own way, when I submit and say, I'm going to open up every day the same, it really keeps me grounded and peaceful. I love the scripture, set your mind on things above, not on things of earth. And St. Paul wrote that from prison when he probably struggled a lot with what am I going to focus on today? Because life was pretty rough when you're in a Roman prison 2,000 years ago, right? But, and that wasn't just, hey, let your mind be set on things above. It was a command. You got to do this. Set your mind on things above, right? So one of my things I do every morning before I even get out of bed, before I begin my other morning prayer, is just to start thanking God for all the blessings in my life. Because I have a, a tendency to become a negative jerk when I don't. And, and my whole day is set in the wrong trajectory when my feet hit the floor. If I'm just stressing out about all the things that I have to do today and the struggles I'm going to face, first and foremost, Lord, just thank you for everything, every, every blessing that you've showered me with. Speaking of showers, I get in the shower and I listen to the readings on my phone. I listened to the reset today, actually, in the shower. You did. To this podcast. And, and I get out of the shower and I'm a different man. Yes. Okay. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you so much for your blessings in our lives. Help us to be intentional about owning our thoughts and the trajectory of our soul and our day and setting our mind on things above, not just on things of earth. Amen. Amen.